Well, Elm parents already dealing with the death of a beloved police officer have a new problem tonight. Someone vandalized their high school. Our Joel Thomas joins us live from the Little Elm High School to show us that damage. Yeah, last night at a vigil, hundreds of people mourned the loss of the police officer. But here in this high school parking lot, someone was busy with spray paint ruining the high school band's trailer. The school and the band boosters, you know, put a lot of effort to put into this trailer to get it repainted and stuff for this year over the summer, and it's just very heartbreaking. Heartbreaking because parents and the school put $40,000 into painting the band's trailer. The vulgarities and graffiti are insulting enough, but this apparently happened while much of the community was at a vigil for a little Elm officer killed in the line of duty. All of us are in mourning for that, and our band and this trailer um, are a great source of pride for us, and, and it's, it's very painful. It's very heartbreaking, um, especially, you know, what's going on with uh, Detective uh, Walker, and, you know, especially having this done, you know, the night of uh, the visual, you know, it's, it's very heartbreaking for the community. Someone sprayed small graffiti on the trailer about a month ago. It was easily covered. But this, the district isn't sure what it's going to do with the trailer now or how it's going to pay to have it repainted. But some parents say neither they nor the school should have to pay to clean up the mess. They're pretty upset. And they want um, these hooligans um, to be caught and to pay for the damage that they've done to our band trailer. Parents say they're just as upset that the police department will have to now investigate this crime while they're trying to grieve the loss of one of their own. Reporting live, Joel Thomas, CBS 11 News.